I'll start off today's episode with a quick anecdote. So my family and I are on vacation during Christmas break. My mom comes up to me in a very excited tone and says, Guess who won today? In a very excited tone. I reply in a more somber one. The Ravens, Mom. You see, I'm a casual Ravens fan. Why am I sad about them winning? Because I want them to tank. Lose on purpose. Get destroyed if need be. My bad fan? Today, on Slice of Sports, we're going to dive into the world of tanking in professional sports. The most obvious example of tanking is the 76ers in the NBA, losing year after year after year on purpose. And why? Why would they do this? Primarily for draft picks, because draft picks are the future. Well, if you think about it, a lot of the best dynasties, or really all the best dynasties in the NBA and all sports professionally, have come about because they have stars. And when you're a terrible team, you get high draft picks, and you get the best stars, and that's how you can win championships. And I'll get into more of that next week, but essentially, by losing, by doing worse this year, it gives you hope for the future. But this extends beyond just the Philadelphia 76ers and their antics. This is an all-sport affair, even to my hometown Atlanta Braves. With just games left in the season, Atlanta Braves fans cheered tirelessly for getting just their last few wins. In fact, they cared about every single pitch, just trying to get that meaningless 68th win. Why? Because they're fans, and that was what makes sports great, is caring about each win, each loss. However, I'm a bit of the other side. The only thing I care about, I understand regular season wins are important to the fans. I care about championships, and I understand that by losing games in regular season in previous seasons could set us up for future success. And I'm not even saying one of us is even right. I'm just saying I just might care a little bit more about championships than you do and a little bit less about the regular seasons. Others fans, they hate. They hate the losing culture. They just want average every single year. But you know what's bad with average? Is that you're perennially not going to get the top draft picks, you're not going to get the superstar free agents to come to your team, and you're ultimately never going to win a championship. And as someone who's lived in the Atlanta market for years, I understand that just as good as anyone. Our average sports teams have absolutely doomed us for year after year after year. And that's ultimately why I'm becoming fans of teams from other places in the United States, because they understood what you need to do to win a championship. So, me, a fan, I'm pleading to... Are you for real? Battery exhausted? Sorry for that, camera difficulties will be, we are right back, and I finally, my final point is what I'm asking you to do today. For you, the fan, for even me, the fan, is when in regular season and you're down big at the end of the game, rather than complaining one more time about how bad your team is, maybe just take a moment to be appreciative, because you know that that could be a great draft pick that could turn into a great future. I've been general about how you're going to turn bad picks and bad teams into championship contenders on purpose, because next episode in Slice of Sports, we're talking about how those bad season and tanking and losing on purpose could turn your team into a winner. Thanks for watching.